Hi, my name is Joanne Nicholson. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to help you to hopefully start your own business or if you have not started your own business, to really see what you're struggling with and how to define your client and potentially then earn more sales. Now, when I started this entrepreneurial journey, I really, really struggled. I struggled for about six months to just make any money. And then when I, by the time I actually made the money, I didn't really make the money because I was spending so much money on selling products or, you know, buying products to sell products. And I was part of affiliation groups and MLM groups and Shopify stores. So I was really more putting myself in debt than I was actually earning any money. And it was a really, really, really hard time for me because I was emotionally exhausted. I was drained. I worked 60, 70 hours a week in my business. I was a horrible mom because I had no patience for my children. I was sleep deprived. I was just, my health went down the drain because I just was more focused on my business than anything else. And if this sounds like you, then this video is for you. Let's dive a little bit into this. What is the number one thing that you can do that will help you to actually start a business or really just understanding who you should, what you should be doing or who you should be targeting in your business? Now, when I started out, I was just selling products. I was hustling and thinking, okay, I'm going to sell this product. I was part of email in groups, like I said before, and I was just selling products left, right and center, right? And yes, I was making money, but for the time and the effort that I spent in selling those products and like, you know, the time and the money that I spent actually buying the products to sell them, it was like, nah, this is not really, you know, it's like, this is not working for me. And then I realized something. I was so focused on selling products that I was not actually focusing on serving my customer. And that is the number one mistake that people make when they start this entrepreneurial game. They are so focused on products, 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 making money, making money, money making money. They're not focusing on who they want to serve. If you become really, really obsessed with your customer, knowing their desires, their needs, their pain, their struggles, their everything, you can really, you know, make more money. And I tripled my income since I started doing that. When I bought Russell's book, Expert Secrets, now I actually listened to the audio book uh, for about six, well, it's a six hour audio book and I devoured it in one weekend because it was just so good. But it, it's quite funny how it is because the first, it's the very first secret in this book, and it, I mean, this is a, a traffic book, right? It's how to get traffic. It's actually defining your dream customer. So not just the fact that having a dream customer helps you to triple your income, it also helps you to get traffic. It also helps you to, to just get more systemized, you know exactly where you're going, etc. I want to dive a little bit more into this. I don't want to make this video too long. I want to keep it under 10 minutes. But I want to dive in a little bit deeper into this. When you look at your customer, okay, so say, for example, you are now, I don't know, you are selling, say you are selling keto products. I'm using keto as an example because it's quite popular at the moment. Say you are selling a keto shake. Okay, I don't even know if that's a thing. Where would this product fall into? Now, if you have health, wealth, and relationships, those are the three core markets where this product will fit into. Now, I'm not going to dive into too much detail into each of these core markets, but basically, in a nutshell, when you are wealth, you are more like a, a health is like real estate, flipping houses on eBay, etc. When you do health, it's like when you keto, weight loss, or just healthy eating, etc. And then relationships is like coaching, parenting, or teenaging, teenagers, or whatever it is, right? So those are your three core markets. So if we sell keto, it will fit into the health category or the health market or well, core market. But you say, you might say to me, but Joy, that what I'm selling can fit into all of those markets. And then I would say, yes, it is. But remember, if for every time it fits into a different market, you are going to focus your funnel and your marketing strategy and everything around each of those. So you can't have it under three. You're going to have to pick one, make it really work, make it successful, and then pick the next one. Okay, so say keto is under health. Now what do you do? What's your next step? Now you've got your target. You, you understand that, okay, now your customer falls into health. Now let's break it down even a little bit more. Who do you want to go into under health? So say, for example, health is you're doing keto. This is your product. And you want to basically help people 
to lose weight that is then your sub market and then your niche will then be i want to help moms that lose weight just after they had babies or whatever your niche is it could be anything it could be helping um i don't know elderly people to be healthy or whatever that thing is okay so that is then your niche now you've got your refined uh, basically your strategy as far as your core market your sub market and your niche goes now what do you do so the next step that you do is then basically take that information and go and research the majingles out of it go onto youtube go onto facebook go on to ask the public go onto all of these websites where you can actually go and do research on your niche okay so now you've got a target market you understand who you want to serve but now you need to understand their customer now you go and find out their desires their needs their their uh, everything that you want become obsessed really understand them take a few days doing this get a virtual assistant to do it go and hire somebody on Fiverr, whatever it takes but really understand if you want to serve moms that just had a baby and you may be not a mom yourself so you don't understand it or even if you are go and research people ask friends do whatever it needs do whatever you need to go and find out as much information as possible then take that information combine it into a sales letter format or a or a you know video format or whatever you want to do in your funnel there's different funnels that you can build depending on the product that you sell for this i would probably recommend a sales letter format funnel or a video one where you can have little testimonials let's quickly recap this so the number one what you do is you figure out what is your market okay so we've chosen health now you're going into health what is your niche your niche is then basically getting your person that you want to help so let's stick with moms that just had a baby okay that's your niche now you go out and you go find out anything and everything you can about moms that just had a baby they're struggling to lose weight they're unhealthy they whatever else whatever issues they have they're tired they sleep deprived blah, blah 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 every possible thing that you can find out about this moms what are their problems then you go and you put your funnel together based on their problems and your solution because the biggest, bestest way for you to triple your income and make more money is to take people's problems, real problems, not just on the surface problems, tap into that and then go and refine that and give them a product or the product that you sell and refine that to their needs. And not just say, uh, oh, well, I've got this keto product, you're going to lose weight. Maybe it's a little bit more than that. You know, you can say, I know how it is to be a mom because I was there and this keto product really, really helped me. And then tap into that problem. I know how it is when you wake up every morning and you're feeling sluggish and exhausted because your kid doesn't sleep. And then you really don't have the time to go and make yourself breakfast because it's just all about children and diapers. And then instead, or you know what you can do is you can just quickly throw this this smoothie keto thing i don't even know if there's something like that but you can just quickly throw the smoothie thing you know shake in a blender and you can have that for breakfast and it will give you energy it will make you feel good and most of all it's healthy for you and it will help you to lose weight something like that i just thumbs like that i don't know but you guys get my drift right so it's really just refining your market understanding their problems and that's what i've got all right, so if you have any questions, let me know. But Traffic Secrets book, guys, this book is amazing. I'm thinking I should actually do more of these lessons. So that was secret number one in Russell's book, refining or basically just understanding your dream customer. That's number one. There is a lot of secrets in here, so I might actually just go into more detail on some of them in future. And if you do want that, please pop me a link below. I would be happy to do that for you. And as always, remember, you are unique, you're awesome, and I appreciate you. Bye.